painter, printmaker, and um, delving into different um, aspects of art. Check my website for some of my paintings. I use watercolor, um, mixed media, and uh, acrylic as well. So I like to fuse different types of things that I draw from in life. So uh, my context, where I am, where I'm from, bringing and uniting a different type of audience like it reaches out to everyone and it's something that's cross-cultural so it unites um, Nigerian art, things that appeal to me and then it just kind of brings it out and everyone, every single person can kind of reach out and um, explore that and I'm currently working on an exhibition um, relating to feminism so look out for that the tentative um, title so um, hopefully that's gonna be next year and um, it's basically exploring the African woman and celebrating just like they're doing celebrating our beauty and just looking at issues that surround feminism it's called feminism isn't a dirty word because so many people have come with different um, ideas of feminism some bring it um, from the angle of it being a white woman discourse and some bring it from a man bashing discourse but we're just trying to it's an open-ended debate to just explore the different areas so we're here celebrating the equality of the sexes so it has nothing to do specifically with women it's just equality of women and men and then having equal opportunities because living in a patriarchal society like Nigeria where even some of the um, constitution supports some really awful things um, regarding women like um, the one where there was the um, child not right campaign so things like that all of these issues and then the Chibok girls that were abducted from um, in Nigeria um, we're gonna address all of these issues and then the works will be around the concept to so just have an open-ended debate so people can talk about it and it's just through I guess through putting on the event just connecting with like-minded people who are doing things out there yeah. uh, that kind of meet what we're doing so that was the connection there and since then it's been amazing so um, just encouraging more partnerships like that really um, that's what it's really all about just kind of connecting with people like ourselves that are out there doing things and have something worthwhile to say and to contribute really to the I don't, really, I don't really want to reduce it to a movement, but yeah. to their awakening, really. Yeah. Um, so many people, it's not that they don't want to find these things out, uh, like she was just saying about the whole abduction of all those girls, and um, just what really goes on, and the things that don't really get shown. It's not yeah. that they don't want to, but I think it's just knowing when to start, and uh, just having that around you, like people around you to kind of encourage that. Uh, that journey. We're similar, although we're individuals, we uh, we have common common things about us that kind of unite us and can unite us. So th th I think that's been a really beautiful thing. And just seeing people celebrating themselves, like people like myself who aren't really that self like that who are self-conscious and not really like, oh yeah, I'm sexy, hey hey, whatever. Else. <laughs> and it's kind of like you see them and they let their guard down and they just feel through the love that surrounds them and through the openness that surrounds them, they kind of just let that down and they embrace who they are for every flaw, every facet of themselves and just celebrate the fact that they are gorgeous, they are diverse and they are black. And They're they intelligent. And yeah, incredibly exactly. Incredibly creative. Like exactly, especially as today's media pits us against one another yeah. because there's always this thing of there can only be one. There can only be a minority of black successful people at one time and that's a load of BS really. We can all do it. We are capable of so many things. I, through my journey, have realised that I could do so many things that I didn't think I could ever do in my wildest dreams and that's just through having people that kind of support and believe in you and, and just believe in yourself enough to give it a try. There's no harm in trying, there's no harm in failing and I think also through talking to these people you get to see the things that are hidden underneath them that are kind of bringing the, the self-realisation of things that they can achieve and you're kind of playing a part in that and I think it's beautiful and we definitely need more of that especially in our young black generation. Way back in 2012 I think 
Um, initially, I just kind of started on my own. Um, one of my very good um, artist friends and mentor, Sam Variety, gave me this video, two, actually two yoga videos, and then initially I just kind of put in the corner and uh, started with YouTube. I was like, what was this yoga thing? It started as a fad, but then after looking into it and doing some research, I realized um, it has a lot of benefits, and because I was asthmatic, um, there's some things in yoga that works towards opening your airways and so it started as a health related practice and the more I, I got into it the more I started to understand my body and explore the limits within which my body can go so it was very interesting so I'm a self-taught yogi and I'm still learning every day so um, it's been an incredible journey yeah you're way 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 much more than the color of your skin so never let that kind of box you into anything you are your mind your heart and your soul so let that shine true and love yourself and love everyone that surrounds you and peace love and bangasu <laughs> <laughs>